Well, it's the Thanksgiving season, uh, but today's episode um, is not seasonal. Uh, the material that is being presented that you are about to witness is good, well, year-round. But first, let's pay tribute to Thanksgiving itself. Um, one of the things I like about Thanksgiving, well, there's several things. Um, it is essentially a Christian holiday. At the very least, it's a religious holiday. It was first proclaimed by our first president, George Washington. Uh, later, Abraham Lincoln also proclaimed Thanksgiving Day. See, there are some good executive orders. It wasn't until 1941 that the United States Congress declared the fourth Thursday in November as a national holiday that we call Thanksgiving. Let me pause there a minute. I really like that. The fourth Thursday, in other words, it is on a certain day. It really chaps my you-know-what uh, when national holidays become flexible. For example, George Washington's birthday. Folks, you can't change someone's birthday. Okay, but we do. We celebrate it on a Monday to create a long weekend. Uh, I also have a, a beef with this constant accumulation of holidays in celebration of national heroes. Well, when our nation was younger, we didn't have that many heroes. Uh, but as we continue as a nation, we accumulate more and more and more heroes. And if we keep having a holiday in, in memorial to or celebration of these various heroes, there won't be any days left to work. Um, another thing I love about Thanksgiving is the Detroit Lions will be playing. And they will lose. And the Dallas Cowboys will be playing. And they will win. Well, that's my pit bit on Thanksgiving. There are some things about Thanksgiving that need to persist uh, while we focus on it in the season of Thanksgiving that we are celebrating the fourth Thursday in November. Um, I think we need to think about and continue in a Thanksgiving spirit throughout the year. You know, I've got some tweets that go out. They're on a scheduler uh, that sends them out about every, oh, three days or so. One of them goes like this. It doesn't matter what you can't do with what you don't have. Now, this is actually speaking to the opposite of Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, people complain and make excuses all the time and uh, say, well, I can't do that because I don't have this, when really they need to, we need to focus on what we do have and what we can do with what we do have and be more thankful. Another one of my tweets, there is a mountain of evidence to justify feeling angry, depressed, happy, or hopeful, or you could say thankful. You decide. You see, it's a decision. The truth is there are circumstances in our life that are negative and circumstances in our life that are positive. If it is our circumstances that dictate our happiness, well, first of all, the Bible has something to say about that. But it, So our circumstances should not determine our joy. However, it seems like when, since there's a mixture of both good and bad things, why is it that we focus only on the bad? And by doing so, we are not thankful for the things that are good. Being happy, folks, is just a decision. Okay. Um, another tweet I have, the last one I'll mention in, in today's episode. Those who believe themselves to be entitled shall never be grateful. It is very evident when you turn on the television and watch commercials and just observe the culture that this is a culture of people that believe that they deserve good things and free stuff, and they are therefore entitled to it. Um, that attitude does not foster a spirit of thanksgiving, humility, or gratitude. Well, that's what I think about thanksgiving. But you know what? It really doesn't matter what I think about thanksgiving. Here's what the Bible says about thanksgiving, and it does matter. In First Thess First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus 
for you. Doesn't say do that sometimes. Doesn't say do that only when times are good. Doesn't say only give thanks for those things that are good. It says in everything give thanks. As we stop and celebrate Thanksgiving this year, I hope that we will reflect on God's word year round and adopt and adapt an attitude of gratitude, one of thanksgiving every day of the year.